Yes. Then why the fuck didn't you say so? I've carried your fat ass for too long, Mets. I'm not going to have you cost us a competition because your mind's on a fucking happy meal instead of on pitch. You are a worthless, friendless, faggot-lipped little piece of shit whose mommy left daddy when she figured out he wasn't Eugene O'Neill and who is now weeping and slobbering all over my drum set like a fucking nine-year-old girl. A bunch of fucking limp dick, sour note, flatter than their girlfriend's flexible tempo dipshits. You got ten minutes, you fucking pathetic pansy-ass fruit fuck. We will stay here for as long as it takes until one of you faggots can play in time. Listen up, cocksuckers! Hurry the fuck up. You hear me, cocksuckers? You better start shitting me perfect 400s. What the fuck are you looking for? There's no pot of gold down there. Are you adjusting the seat, really? That's been your fucking problem the whole time, the seat height. So now you have it, right? Why would you give it to Neiman, right? You give a calculator to a fucking retard, he's gonna try to turn on a TV with it. Now get your sticks and get your ass on stage. Mr. Gay Pride of the Upper West Side himself. Unfortunately, this is not a Bette Midler concert. We will not be serving Cosmopolitans in Baked Alaska, so just play faster than you give fucking hand jobs, will you please? Can't? Yeah! When did you become a fucking expert on what I can or cannot do, you fucking weepy willow shit sack? If you deliberately sabotage my band, I will fuck you like a pig. Got it? One more thing. Eugene, give me that. If I ever find one of these lying around again, I swear to fucking God, I will stop being so polite. Get the fuck out of my sight before I demolish you.